Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we'll be covering one of the important automation testing interview question that is frequently asked in the interviews to the software testers. Now, this will be altogether a new playlist that I am creating, I am working on, which will be covering few important interview questions and answers for the people who are preparing for the interviews. Because there are many people out there who have recently got laid off from the different companies so what we are trying to do is we are trying to create a dedicated playlist for the people who are looking for the jobs or even for the people who are looking back to restart their career after the career gaps or the career break so let us see today's question so it's a kind of a quick revision because uh, it would be expect it that before you see these series you at least have basic knowledge of what the test automation is so today's question is on the bdd framework it is about what is the difference between background keyword and hooks so generally this kind of question is asked to you it will be asked to you in an interview even if you go for the manual testing you might get these kind of automation testing questions because bdd framework is expected to be at a uh, required level now bdd uh, people are expecting you to be aware to be comfortable with the bdd framework so what is the difference between background keyword and hooks so first of all let us see when this background keyword will be used so we'll be seeing the purpose the scope and the placement where actually you would be keeping this background keyword and here i will also show you the code snippet as you can see in the screenshot so you can get an idea okay this is how the background keyword would be used and you can uh, convert it into your own words when you are explaining these things in an interview to the, in a, in a real time interview okay and then we'll see the hooks so again the same thing purpose of the hooks what is the significance of the uh, of the hooks scope of the hooks and the placement where are we keeping it and then we will be seeing the differences between the two so let us see one by one okay so the very first thing is about the background keyword so what is background keyword now background keyword is generally used in order to have a kind of a definite step that you want to perform before your test execution so for example as you can see you want to navigate to the login page you want to navigate to the login page and here there can be a couple of scenarios you are trying to hit the login page with the valid credentials you are trying to hit the login page with an invalid credential so there's a happy path as well as a negative scenario that you are trying to test here now given the user navigates to the login page is a kind of a the common thing right so what is given given when then these are all the keywords that you will see in the btt framework so given is a kind of a prerequisite so here you have mentioned that given in the terms of background itself now what is background background also is one of the keyword only okay so what it is happening is by mentioning a, a kind of this keyword within the background itself you are making sure that this particular statement the user navigates to the login page the code for this particular statement will be repetitively executed for each and every scenario within that particular feature file only okay again you might get the cross question when you are answering like this you might get the cross question that uh, can we use the background keyword in multiple feature files you can use but you can whenever you are telling you can use so background keyword can be used let's say you have feature file a you have feature file b you have feature file c so different different background background keywords can be used for separate separate feature files like a b and c you cannot use the background keyword which has been mentioned in feature file a or feature file b right so let's say if i mention a background keyword for this particular feature file for login okay so you cannot use this particular background keyword for let's say another feature file which i have created for payments right so this background keyword would be used only explicitly for this particular feature file only okay so what is the purpose so it is used to define the common steps that should be run before each scenario within that feature file before each scenario okay ensures that all scenarios in the feature file starts from the known state okay scope is limited to the feature file where it is defined all scenarios in that feature file will execute the background steps first and then their own execution will be done placement it is defined at the beginning of the feature file after the feature keyword 
and before the first scenario or the scenario outline. So you can see it has been defined at the top itself. So in this example, as you can see, the step given the user navigates to the login page will run before each scenario in the feature file. So this is about background keyword. Now, what is about hooks? So is hooks a keyword? No, hooks is not a keyword. Hooks is altogether a file, a different file from the feature file, right? Background keyword is used within the feature file. Hooks is altogether a different file. Now, what does hooks contain? So hooks is used to execute the code before or each before or after each scenario, right? So it can be used for setting up, let's say if you want to initialize the environment or after the automation is running, uh, has completed running, then you want to clear some of the resources. At that time, you will be using the before, after, this kind of hooks file. Now, scope. So it can be applied to globally to all scenarios or selectively based on the text. So there might be tags that you might be using and accordingly, you might be using it. It provides more flexibility compared to background as they can execute the code conditionally. Okay, so this is an example of a hooks file. So these are the straightforward import statements. You have created public class hooks and here you have at the rate before public void setup. So you will be defining code to set up some preconditions, right? And you have code to clean up after each scenario. Let's say you have to delete all the files or you have to close all the windows. So all those things will be coming up in the teardown method. Okay, so this is a hooks file. So in this example, as you can see, the setup method and the teardown method are mentioned. Now, what are the key differences between the two? So at the top, we understood in detail. Now let's summarize. Let's see in a nutshell, what is the difference between the background and the hooks? So first is scope of application. So background is specific to the feature file where it has been applied and it is applicable to all the scenarios within that particular feature file only, whereas hooks can be applied globally or selectively based on tags, purpose and usage. So background is used for common steps that are necessary for all the scenarios in a feature file, whereas hooks are used for some complex setup and teardown task. Okay, then what is configuration? So background is configured in the feature file using the zip using the jerkin syntax and hooks are configured in the step definition file using the programming language constructs and they can be the part of the hooks file itself you can use both okay one more question you can get okay so in your framework are we are you just using background keyword or hooks you can use both there's no limitation there is no restriction that if you are using hooks you cannot go for background keyword or vice versa you can use both the things together there is no problem with that okay and in many of the frameworks, people do often, they do often use both the things, background as well as hooks, because both have got their own purposes, both have got their own configurations, right? So you can use background for simple repetitive steps, which you have to execute repetitively. It will help you to reduce the lines of code as well. You can use hooks for some kind of setup kind of things or tear down logic that we just saw. So this is the difference between the background keyword and the hooks. And this is one of the automation testing interview question that was recently asked in one of the company to one of my subscriber. I forgot the name of the company, but yes, it has been asked. It has been repetitively now asked in, I'm, I'm thinking in last two or three subscribers feedback, I am listening that BDD framework is a common thing. And the questions like this related to BDD framework would be asked to you in an interview. So be prepared for such kind of question answers. Also do mention in the comment section of the video how do you how did you like this video if you want us to come up with the answers of any other similar kind of automation testing interview questions then please let us know would be happy to assist you thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to hit like share and subscribe our channel thank you